Hi everyone, this is Richard Byrne at Free Technology for Teachers. Today I want to show you a neat website called ThinkBinder. ThinkBinder is designed to be a place for students to share notes and share messages related to their studies. In other words, it's a collaborative study group. There are a couple of ways that students can get started using ThinkBinder. They can join an existing group if they have a group code, or they can create their own group from scratch. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to start a group from scratch. I'll call it my Free Tech for Teachers group. And now I'll have to create an account in order to use ThinkBinder. And now that I've created my account, I have a ThinkBinder bookmarklet that I can drag up to my toolbar so that anytime I'm on a website, I can simply click the bookmarklet and send that information to ThinkBinder. And it's really simple to install in Chrome. I'll just drag it up here and drop it into my toolbar. And now I can start creating notes in my ThinkBinder account. So what's on my mind? Hey gang, check this out. And perhaps I'll add a file from my desktop. Maybe a document that I have or an image. And now anyone that I invite to my group can see that when I post it, can comment on that, and we can tag it and have discussions about it. And it'll also go into my file box. Another neat feature of ThinkBinder is there's a collaborative whiteboard space. So I can use the draw whatever I like. I'm just going to draw my standard stick figure here. But as you can see right now, this is going to everyone that's in my group. If I had someone in the group with me, I could simply say, will you fix my picture? And this could be good for students that are trying to create mind maps together, uh, or trying to create an outline of some type together. I could also use it in a private mode, and only I will be able to see the content of that whiteboard. And finally, I want to add some people here. So I'm going to invite some peers. And if I wanted to do, I could add as many people as I want. And they will receive that invitation code, so they don't have to go through the sign-up process. They can simply join my existing group. So that's ThinkBinder. Uh, you can try it out. You can join as many groups as you like. You can create as many groups as you like. And it's a free service. It's still in beta, so there are probably some quirks that you might run into, uh, and there may be some new features coming in the future as well. So that's ThinkBinder. Check it out at thinkbinder.com. I think you'll like it.